music because I was uh, finishing up another show. And then I got into this show. It is time for another rousing edition of Fucking Around with Porn Stars. And we are going to go to a fantastic porn star. She is going to join us on the old Skip of Skype. Yes, the old Skype Rooney. And we are going to go to our next guest. She is going to join us here in just a few moments. The fantastic Lyric Sky. I, I hope I didn't butcher your name there. No, that's right. Because you are you you are you are too much of a uh, of a of, of a perv magnet for me to, uh, to 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 butcher your name on this show. Uh, and if you're watching us on Clout Hub or BitChute or Rumble or our YouTube page over there with fucking around with porn stars, we have got a fantastic one with us today. You can follow her on the Twitter machine at Lyric Sky X. She is pretty much, she looks like she gets poured into every single outfit that she owns. Uh, I, I, I don't exactly know where in the world all this all this comes from. Uh, I was going to make a Carmen Sandiego reference, but she would be horrible at Carmen Sandiego because I'd be able to spot her instantly. So there'd be no more where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. We had Lyric Sky playing Carmen Sandiego. So Lyric Sky joins us today. She is amazing, and uh, she was part of all sorts of different things this year. We're going to talk about all of her various projects. And uh, you can find her, as I said, Lyric Sky X. And uh, she's got one of those All My Links things, too. It's on her, uh, her, her Twitter if you want to go over and, uh, and say hello to us. Uh, she is amazing. She is a 16-time nominated adult filmstress, as her um, Twitter bio says. So she is essentially the, the uh, let's see, they always say Ric Flair is the 16-time world champion. She is the she is the Ric Flair of porn, I guess, maybe of porn nominations or something. I don't know. Um, so, Lyric, welcome to the big broadcast. How are you, my friend? I'm great. Thank you for having me. So, you are quite the little perf magnet. How in the world did you get started doing all this porn stuff? I I literally stumbled into the industry. I was a date to um, an Urban X award show, to like a porn show, <laughs> and. Um, Richard Mann came up to me and said, "What are you doing here?" Why of course, this? it's always yeah. a it all, it's always a pervy guy. It doesn't matter doesn't matter who it is. It's always a pervy guy that gets that that gets women <laughs> like you uh, in, into the business. Which which by the way, he is right. What in the world are you doing here? That 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 would be the question. If you were not in the porn industry. And you are as hot as you are. What the hell are you doing at this thing? The hell are you doing at the Porn Check, Awards? Checking it out. I started, um, <laughs> I've touched almost every avenue as a sex worker. So um, coming from dancing and like doing that as a stripper, I was just a date at the show and didn't know the full depths of the industry until after I chose to dive in head first. That's awesome. So uh, you, 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 you kind of set me up there. How the hell did you get started as a stripper? Were, were you one of these chicks that I got to pay my college loans or are you one of these chicks that, you know, you, 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 you had a baby daddy somewhere and didn't want to step up. And so we were like, Oh, well, I guess I'll go be a stripper. How, how, how did this all start? My, <laughs> mine's like, the, I guess a little bit of the opposite of that. Um, I graduated from college as a nurse and I didn't know shit about awesome. myself or like sexuality or anything. So I wanted to feel sexy for a night, and I decided to go and dance at a club just randomly. I didn't know anything about it. I YouTubed what you should do as a first-time stripper, and I went in and <laughs> killed it the first time. Nobody knew. Wow, that is amazing. So so my yeah. dumb ass gets on YouTube to learn how to do cool things on Adobe Premiere. <laughs> you get on YouTube to figure out how to be a goddamn stripper. That is fantastic. How'd you get to be a stripper? I, I went to YouTube University, like everybody else. I did. And I graduated <laughs> with honors, I guess. God, that is amazing. <laughs> so, 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 so you end up a stripper, and then you, where, where, where do you go next? Because you said you've been involved in every level of, of sex work. Where, 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 where do you go mm -hmm. next? Uh 
if you, I mean, if you Google me, Lyric Sky, you'll find you can book me here for this. So, I mean, as an escort, I've touched those avenues. That's awesome. Of it. Um, some women are like, no, never. So, um, but a high-end escort is what I like to offer, a full round That's package. That's awesome. So, not just a, a night trip here or there. But as women in the industry, when I'm like, oh, you would know. No, baby, I know. Trust me. I have gone from being on Craigslist to going on Backpage to look to see fine jobs to model on sexy jobs. You're an old oh, school. Man. You're old school, exactly. baby. The minute you said Backpage, I just, my, my, my heart is a flutter. I remember Backpage like nobody's business. Craigslist wasn't bad either, but back Backpage had, had a certain amount of, uh, I don't know, I, I guess you would say cachet if you wanted to be, you wanted to be fancy with it. It was, um, it was, I learned how to actually write ads and like what you should and should not say from that. And then I took high end escorts that I saw and like research too and made my own listings and just kind of built my own brand from that. Um, sexy jobs boosted my career in the industry, also getting different gigs and model mayhem. I put all my own pieces together. Model to get- mayhem. Wow. You've been everywhere, <laughs> haven't you? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, you got to touch. <laughs> That's I did awesome. then. That's awesome. So you you go from the from from the escorting and then you end up as a date to who who was the person you were ending ending up as the date? Are they not even in the industry anymore? I would almost assume they're not. Nope. That's not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even in porn not anymore. Not at all. I'm 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 doing porn. They're not. Yeah, I'm enjoying it as my career and found my new, like, avenue of life, what I love. And I haven't seen them in, I don't know, like, three years. Wow. <laughs> they pulled, they, did, did, did they, did they pull a, well, no, I guess, I, I, no, they wouldn't have pulled a Mia Khalifa because then they would have to go on every single radio show all over the place and go, I, I, I got nothing to do with porn, even though I'm, like, cashing checks and things and probably have residuals and things. But what? We make money off our name. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Lyric Sky with us today. She is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> just amazing individual. And she joins us today here on our big program. So what is the adjustment from escorting to porn? Or is there one? Um, For me, I make everything personable. Like, I'm a really, like, I take time to research who I'm working with. I make sure we're on the same page for content, all of that. So with industry shooting shoots, um, it kind of, the safety you use with that is the safety measures we use in our industry, guidelines, all those things. So boundaries, it's a job. That's awesome. So people have to respect that and respect that for sure. That's awesome. Lyric Sky with us today. You can find her on the old Twitter machine. Lyric Sky X. X, if you want to say hello to her, which you probably will after seeing some of her porn. Um, so, do you edit all your stuff, or, or are you your edit? Are you your own editor, or do you have somebody who you outsource your stuff to? I, I'm, I do. I do all my own editing. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. So if you see it, I edited it. <laughs> that's awesome. So, typically, are you shooting with a camera person, or are you shooting, are you doing, are you doing like, all these other clowns, or they just put it on a tripod and stick it in the corner? Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't try filler content. I have an amazing production uh, team, Salacious Perceptions is her name. Uh, That's production, awesome. So, she goes everywhere, does all my photos. Um, she's amazing. So, she makes it happen, and then I have G is his other team VP. Um, so two cameramen and women that I use off and on. That's awesome. That's awesome. Cause just looking at your stuff, it looks like porn. It doesn't, it, it doesn't look like you set it on a tripod and we just film. I want whatever. to be class, still nasty, but, um, pro-am cause I am. So not just amateur. That's awesome. So being in the, uh, being in the business, as they say, uh, how long was it after you got into doing the porn thing that you started having various people get a hold of you? What, what, what does that process look like? Um, it's been interesting. This is my 
going into my fifth year. So um, it's been really interesting. Of The more they see you and the more you build, the more people reach out. So the Exoticas I had, um, it was crazy. My browser scene got released during New Jersey Exotica. And I'm like, just for a company to see me independently, like a browser is, means I'm putting in the work I'm supposed to on my own. But it took time for sure. That's awesome. So one of the things that I have been doing over the last, we'll say six months, I'm not gonna, I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna give myself any credit at all because I, 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 I think what, I think what I do is not considered porn, even though we are, we are selling, we are, we are selling what they call porn and making money with it, but. Um, exactly. I shoot things in like I wear a giant sombrero. I have a banana suit. I I, I, I don't count that as porn. But uh, but also I see these I see these guys online that have got like these clown masks and they're fucking chicks out by dumpsters. Have you seen this guy? I'm like I do I do I do know them I know them <laughs> I know them. <laughs> you know I, there's that guy and he's yeah. considered a porn guy so but uh, yeah. What, one of the things that, that I want to get your take on is when you – one of the things that I have done since we have started shooting porn is I try to be the most upfront professional person I possibly can when I talk to people. What – how exactly do people approach you and how, what, what are some of the more interesting things that you get approached on? How, how, does, how does that work? Um. Are we allowed to curse? Oh, yeah, you can say whatever the hell you want. <laughs> the show's called I, Fucking I, Around with Porn Stars. I, we can say whatever we want. By the way, speaking of that, she she set me up. Um, Fucking Around with Porn Stars, of course, is on Skyhawk After Dark each and every week. You can get a hold of us on iHeartRadio, also Talk Shoe, all these various places. And also, I can say the P word here because the radio industry doesn't have any use for, for porn. So I can say podcast. Uh, <laughs> on radio... I'm not allowed to say podcast. It's on demand archived audio. Oh. But no. since we are on a porn radio show, I can say podcast. I know that most I know that most porn people think I can say pussy, which I can say pussy all day long. But uh <laughs> but it's podcast. You can't say that is so ridiculous. Um fucking around with porn stars, of course, is on Skyhawk After Dark Radio.com. Yes. The world's longest website URL, skyhawkafterdarkradio.com. Fridays at 12 p.m. Pacific, Saturdays at 8 p.m. Pacific, or if you look at one of the one of, one parts of the website, it's Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific. So I don't know. I'm on at eight on a Saturday. Uh, back to Lyric Sky. She is with us today. She is fantastic. So what 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 are some of the more interesting? Because like, 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 for instance, when, when, when I approach people, I will usually mm -hmm. find out what their email is and send them an email. And I lay, mm -hmm. I lay out everything. I lay out what the scene's going to be. Um, mm -hmm. I lay out, you know, where the hell we're going to be shooting it, what the hell we're going to be doing, all the various stuff. Whereas exactly. I get the impression talking to a lot of you guys and girls over the last couple of years on this show and other shows that I do. There's a lot of people that don't approach it the way I do. So w w what are well, some of the yeah. more interesting stories that you have of people wanting to uh, shoot with you? Um, I, call, I call a lot of those photographers because you have That's a camera. That's awesome. And they like, Fuck. Fuck photographers. So you're, you're oh. trying to you know ease your way in because you have a camera already. And they're like, oh, I can do this photo set for you. And I have an OnlyFans if you want to do a scene. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you send me a business email with a proposition where you're wanting to, all of what you said. Yeah. Yo, they're jumping in comment sections. Um, if you're only a photographer or videographer and you have an OnlyFans and you're on it, I'm probably not going to work with you. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. It's just not how porn that's works. Fantastic. Where's the cameraman? I have one. <laughs> that's awesome. See, see that this that this is the thing that, that I always fought against getting into porn, and then I got kind of drug kicking and screaming by the lovely and talented Britannia. Who in the world is this calling me? We're not going to talk to them. I'm assuming they're calling me because they're probably watching us on Twitch, and they see I'm talking to a porn star, and that's usually how it works. But... Um,
We're not going to talk to Satan or Julius Caesar or any of those people that usually call in. Um, <laughs> but usually how, how we do things is, which I find... Okay, we're just going to unplug the phone. We're just going to go that route because I don't know if it might be it might be Julius Caesar. It might be Crispin Glover. Who knows? I don't know why Crispin Glover would call into Dr. Lyric Sky, but that would be awesome yeah. if that happened. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, somebody. I don't know. I'm just coming up with names. But um, is Daniel Day-Lewis even still alive? I think he is. But um, <laughs> Lyric Sky with us today. There's no I'm I'm doing like Ed Till does, where th there's this radio guy named Ed Till who will ask questions to an empty studio, and then he'll act like there's people there when they're not there. That's kind of what I just did. Um, but you know, one of the things that we do is I always shoot with because we did the lovely Jiggy Jag TV back in the day. I've amassed all this camera equipment, and I've amassed all this editing knowledge, and I've amassed all these things, and I just. I would talk. I would talk to porn people, and I would be like, "Hey, how do you shoot porn?" And they're like, "Oh, well, I put a camera phone on a tripod." And I'm like, "What?" I mean, I'm thinking, "Jiggy Jag TV." We used to have three cameras. I'm wanting to get the overhead shot, like they do on Lucha Underground. I want to get all this stuff. Yeah, no, that's camera. not how it works. So, no. you are smart to have a camera person because one of the things that we do when we go out and do our stuff is well like for instance we'll just well i'll just tell that story on this show um britney's <laughs> mom and dad are not paying attention they're not going to hear this but um the uh <laughs> we we did a thing one time where i had we me and the lovely and talented Britannia, or as I call her, Britannica, the American slave girl, which she does not like that name, but um, <laughs> which I call her that even more. But um, one of the things that we did is we're also swingers, which I think swingers and porn are kind of the same thing. There's a lot of people that they do not consider that the same. Who cares? Um, one of the things we did was we rented a hotel room. And we had this chick, and she was like a big OnlyFans girl. This is this is a big thing. She's a big OnlyFans girl. She was on Fat Live. She was doing all this stuff. And after we took her out to dinner, and then we get back to the hotel, and before she meets us at the hotel, so she's so she's seen all the lights, all the cameras. Yeah. She sees all the laptop. She sees the forms. She sees all the stuff. And then all of a sudden we go to dinner, and after we've bought this lovely young woman dinner, um, her anxiety kicks in and she can't shoot. Nope, because too much. <laughs> the lights. No, that's, that's not what. Con so there, there are just content creators that, and I love that because they bring a different element to the game. Oh yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I can do both. Can you flip it and go onto a set and do start and stop and do photos and do this? For two or three hours. No. Because you're used to setting it up. Getting your fuck. Getting the content. And you're out. Yeah. I, I do all that. You, we do photos. You're going to get a photo set with it. It's going to be a professional setup. I have my own website. So you can go and see it. Because I like porn. That's awesome. I love porn. I do porn. Porn see, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, I ended up having to get on FetLife. Got a hold of some random guy. He shows up. And me and him bang Britney, and then we got a, I got a scene out of it, because by God, I wasn't going to waste $100 on that goddamn hotel room. I already blew the 50 bucks on the food the night before, but that's fine. It was drive through. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it wasn't really good Mexican food either. But the thing was, <laughs> you know, my goal was we got somebody to show up. They, they signed all the 2257s, did all the IDs, all the stuff. Yes, there's, we there's shot, that. and he shot with Brittany for a little bit, and I had the camera, and then I had all the tripods and all the other nonsense, and then we set up a. Then we set up the. Didn't I? Didn't want to do this, but I set up my tripod, and then we shot that way, and then we're done. We're done, and I'm like, you are doing some amazing things with the fact that you've got a camera crew and a photo crew. Everybody else is just, hey, let's put it on a tripod and let's. Let's let's hope my iPhone storage holds up. 
Well, I mean, and I do my BTS <laughs> on, we have that. I've got two, three phones that I'm getting behind the scenes. But I do want to give an overall product that I can be nominated for an AVN or win an award or be seen on a That's level right. of print, print it type quality and do a DVD cover still. I want to be that type of porn star. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I am interested to know about the photo sets and the behind the scenes stuff. What in the world are you doing there? Um, all of the photo sets, it's kind of like as a storyline for my fans. I'm still on Southern Charms for the old heads that are, you know, photo people. They go and buy. She used my new favorite sets. term, old head. I have been called an old head on a few occasions. I didn't know what the hell it meant. But uh <laughs> But I had a I had a rap guy here locally call me an old head one time. So for like a month and a half, I just would always refer to myself as an old head. I didn't know what it meant. I even went to look it up. Like, what the hell does this old head thing mean? Urban Urban Dictionary. That's, that's someone's uh, for the day. Old head. But, uh, <laughs> but so like, okay. Like so go ahead. That. So the photo sets. You know, tell tell a story. Um, yeah, they do. I do it from like a from fully dressed in the outfit from the scene or whatever outfit you see down to a strip down strip tease kind of um, nudie tootie all the way down progression. That is so awesome. So you can sit there and go through all you know thirty five to fifty photos in a set. The next week you're gonna you have a video to go with it. All the promo. I use it for promo too, like crazy, because people are like, oh, I see it everywhere. Well, yeah, because we took time to do photos. <laughs> We took time to put the work in. God damn. We did the work deal. You're going to see that shit. So, I mean, I have a calendar where we post and how I rotate things. Um, so it just makes the content and longevity of it a lot longer. And um, companies see me, and that's how I get booked off of my content. Also. That's awesome. That's awesome. So when when you are doing the behind-the-scenes stuff, is that just you've just set up a camera and you're just filming everything <laughs> Is that yeah, what that you, is? You just kind of dump it down or condense it to whatever you want. Pick different pieces out of it. Um, you catch the stuff that the regular camera doesn't because you're stopping and starting or doing stuff. So, you know, you might want to have your um, bloopers or something. Oh, no. Everybody, People are shooting scenes. Holy yeah, shit. Everybody mashes it up differently, throws it out on OnlyFans or wherever. Um, even Twitter, like little clippets and steps. People use all that shit for everything. So it's content is always content. Don't See, that's think. that's been one of the big hurdles that I have had is when I when I talk to various people, I think of this as scenes. That's the only thing I can think <laughs> of. I should probably find a different nomenclature, I guess, for this thing. But my thing is, is I got goals. I got we got to have a blowjob scene. We got to have a pussy eating scene. We got to have missionary. We got all this stuff. And when I tell yeah. this to people, they're like, well, how many scenes are you doing? And I'm like, that's the scenes we got to do. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do like, you're going to blow me for three minutes. Then I'm going to eat your pussy for three minutes. And, you know, the scenes. They okay, can't understand was, that. They just think all we're going to do is put this iPhone on a tripod and fuck. And I'm like, no, no that's not how it works. Well, I listen. Well, how, how, do, how do you get these people to understand this? Because you're such a pro. That's why I wanted to have you on the show. Because 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 you're fantastic. You're you've got the uh, what, what is it I seen the other day that the the meme real black girl hair and I don't care or something. You you've got you've got the you've you've got the cool <laughs> hair and everything. So I like to um, showcase me and every like when you go on my my Twitter page, you're probably gonna see all type of variety, every outfit, every hairstyle. Um, yeah. Because I I am my brand. I get to showcase everything in every type of way. So when you say about being professional, offer them more than just your cell phone photo you sent to your boyfriend. We got, <laughs> ah, yes. Like, think about if you're going to print it in a magazine is what I think of every single time I do something. Yeah. I love just it. Quality, quality. So, so now my next question and this and and this th this is just a, a little um, because I I can't wait for your reaction to this thing. <laughs> so when you were setting up all these sites, mm -hmm. how annoying was that whole phone phone face in an oval thing that some of them do? Oh, the the <laughs> that, that, that gimmick, yes. 
Um, when I was setting up these sites, I'm like, I thought we just uploaded some. We 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 do the old uh, write it on a piece of paper and hold up the thing, and then you got all that. And then I did the oval gimmick, and I'm like, what the world is this? It's newer. Your face has got to fill the oval. Bullshit. That's how the phones recognize your face. I'm like, does it work with my glasses? What if I'm having a bad face day? Shit. Makeup. Is- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what was what, what was that whole process like? Because I see you're on OnlyFans and some of these other places. Um, I have a whole calendar right here in my office of every site or whatever avenue you can find me on. Um, when I set all my stuff up is when I met Richard Mann that night, my first, you know, interaction. Oh, that's with awesome. I'm like, I'm going home setting up porn shit. Yes, he gave me a list, and he said he was going to call me in six weeks. He was going to give me six weeks to set it all up and, like, do everything I need to do. I'm like, Richard Mann's not going to call me at all. He just got inducted the whole day. He ain't calling my ass. And he did. He called me, and he said, well, if you did that, then you were serious about being in our industry. Well, that and I too. Did to a T, I uploaded two videos. Like, all everything he told me to do. Um, I mean, I have clips for sale, loyal fans, porn hub. My own. Oh, yeah. Is- so it's crazy, but yeah, the I, the, the, the list. It's so Don't crazy. lose the list, as they say no. on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, let 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 let. let. I, I love I love the calendar board. You know, we're we're on um, lust for me, whatever the hell that is. Um, sheer, whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Sin Sin Party, which actually makes us a pretty good amount of money, which I find amazing. Um, clips for sale, which of course I, I gotta be oh, on yeah. clips for sale. Everybody's on clips for sale. Uh this yes. thing, this fan centro, whatever the hell that is. Uh yeah. that's um, that's what Fansly Pornhub, yeah. which has There's been so- frustrating. But um uh just for fans and yeah. then only fans, which once again is kind of frustrating. Uh, and mm-hmm. then we're on something called Lemon Social. Have you heard of Lemon Social? <laughs> I haven't, but that sounds refreshing. There is it? this there is this porn chick that I'm friends with on Facebook who she routinely, I think it's a work. I don't think she's actually sticking knives in her vagina. But um, she, yeah, that's a thing. I'll have to find those videos and send them to you. She's always talking about, I'm dangerous content. She's like a little white girl from Miami. But she's on this thing called Lemon Social. And then I was on a thing called Sneaky Linked. And then one day I went to go get on their website, and their website said that they hadn't paid their domain name, and the website's gone. Oh, my God. So where's my shit? So I don't know where Sneaky Linked is. They snuck out of here is what they did. Uh, And then then the other day I got on... Or the hell is this? I'm on I'm on uh, loyal fans, of course. And then I got on this thing, which I think their website is so ridiculous. But they're the TikTok for porn, supposedly, and they're called Thick Fap. What? <laughs> exactly. What in the world is this? It is F I K F A P dot com. Thick Fap. They are the. Can you use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and, 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 and the key to them is they're kind of like, that. They, they really are the TikTok of porn. You can't upload, and I and you probably know the terminology. I, of course, do not know the terminology. Hell, I didn't know what, it, what an old head was earlier. But you can't upload videos to FicFap without the videos being this way. They can't be this way. They have oh. to be... Like TikTok videos. It's gotta, it's gotta be TikTok. It's gotta be the content creator link. So you know people don't know what portrait and landscape is anymore? It's ridiculous. <laughs> so shit. <laughs> you got you gotta be able to uh, cause cause I was like, okay, well I went in and just started uploading things one day. Cause you, you know? you've you've got the route that you go through. <laughs> You're uploading videos. And uh I get to fic fap and I'm like, What? I gotta go up. I gotta go through now and make all these changes in Adobe. Yeah, I'm Little. like, 
I don't know if I'm going to be using thick fat much. Or what you do is set up a tripod during your scene, and that is what you use for pit fat. Aha! Look at that. <laughs> the master of YouTube University strikes again. <laughs> so I'm also on many vids. Which is actually where we're making our money, which is amazing, which 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 angers a lot of people because a lot of people don't want me to succeed in porn, which is kind of strange. But um, we have got the fantastic Lyric Sky with us today. She is what Ross Long would refer to as a chocolate perv magnet. Um, she attracts all the pervs, which explains why I'm here. Um, Lyric Sky is with us today. Now, what is it about... White guys who like black chicks. I understand the other way because a black guy, a lot of black guys are confident. They they know what they're doing and all this stuff. And, of course, they've got the, 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 the giant penis, which, which is, I don't know, we've shot with a few guys that that is not a, um, it's a negative stereotype or a positive stereotype or whatever kind of stereotype. But I don't understand the other way. What is it with white guys who are into black chicks? I love black chicks because I did a gangbang one time on Super Bowl Sunday years and years ago, and there was a there was a chick that was like invited us over to her house for a Super Bowl party, and everybody that was with me, they're like, "Oh, that chick's gonna want to bang us," and I'm like, "Look at us and look at her." And then when There's we got no and then we got there, and she started drinking, and everybody started drinking, and then at one point. She's like wanting us to take her down the hallway and throw her on the bed. And I'm like, is this really happening? Look at me. Dream through Super Bowl Sunday. So, I've never, I've never watched the Super Bowl the same ever since. <laughs> but, um, so, so what, what is that with white guys who like black chicks is, is what, what is the thing with that? I think I find it as just a fetish is what I throw that into um, for all the categories out there. I mean, interracial people think of it as just a black guy with a black girl, but my interracial is the opposite for all my scenes. So it fits for everything. Um, I play a very, really good mistress role. They see us as very dominant. So a lot of guys want that. Um, but also just the taboo of something that maybe you don't have or have never tried and you want to take a dip and see. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you have just amazing stuff on, on your Twitter profile and all your various things that you put up. Uh, tell me about this, which looks very interesting. Mirror room sex tape. What in the world is this? I seen this one day scrolling through your Twitter feed and I'm like, what in the world is this? Mirror room oh sex God. tape. That was a sescapade um, trip in Phoenix one night with uh, male talent Dreads Way. And we just happened to have two cell phones in a swingers club that we went to. Um, I danced. We put on a show for the club. And then they cleared out the mirror room for us. And we used every mirror in that room. So it was like an old school sex tape for real. It was like a green light, the fans going. And it was just like old school sex tape kim k release okay so so now my my uh jiggy jag tv uh <laughs> production stuff is gonna kick in how in the world did you set this up to where the cameras didn't film each other or you see them so you should always have um maybe a tripod or selfie stick with you if you're a creator okay <laughs> or something to lean it on like a shoe or a bottle Okay. And you put one on one side, you have two phones. We picked up different angles. Um, and then also if you hold it. Okay. And get, yeah. But we did a lot of Because I'm looking like at that you. going, God damn it. There, there, there would be cameras filming other cameras. This would be a nightmare. Okay. I would get the footage yeah, home and be like, damn it. It's fun. <laughs> I like mirrors. I love, love, love shooting um, anything with mirrors. That's awesome. Lyric Sky with us today. You can find her on the old Twitter machine. And uh, she is pretty damn amazing. She is uh, also the owner of Erotic Sky Mag. Tell us a little bit about this. Oh, that's my, my baby, my child. Um, so you can't fuck forever. So you have to have something you to, can't to fall fuck back. Forever. I don't know. 
we uh, we went to a swingers club one time and there was uh we had this uh buddy of mine by the name of big will who quote unquote got his silver wings as he says oh no oh this chick I she not- had had to be 80 and I, well, they went into the back, and she blew him, and I guess the husband fingered her while she was blowing Big Will. And I was like, what did you and the husband talk about? And he goes, oh, you know, dog, football games, basketball, all the stuff. Like, what? This is well, crazy. Well, I won't be a guilt industry, but I will be a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> um, we showcase um, all type of women throughout the industry that are sex workers, um, from people that are on Twitch, from porn stars. We got Kiki Cloud on the cover, Avery Jane, Olivia J. Um, we've had Foxy as a trans model. Um, it's women owned and women shot, our magazine with My Female Production. And we love showcasing and giving women in our industry the platform to be printed still, because it is print. That's digital. awesome. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have got some really, really cool stuff. And then, um, I believe, what is this? I'm, I'm going down the, going down the Twitter feed. I don't, I don't even know how to set this up. Uh, you have had Kiki Clout, which I like Kiki. She is, she is amazing. Um, one one time we interviewed her on this show and she was in the process of moving. So (laughs) it was, it was a really strange interview, but, but, but we did that. And then I noticed that you did a... Uh, when, when, when was this? This was uh, this had to be just recently. You did something with Erica from the Rub PR. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> I oh, love know, Erica. In an industry and you have knowledge. Um, we featured her as our sex expert in the magazine, so she could write a column and just spread knowledge. You want to learn from people that have had you know a decade or more um, because that's longevity. So I'm she is she is amazing. She. Uh, yeah last well it would have been it would have been avns this year uh she hired uh the lovely and talented britannica or britannia or whatever the hell you want to call her as her assistant for the week so Brittany got to uh go hang out with erica for the entire week and didn't get to listen to me well, yell and scream about you don't get lunches you don't get breakfasts we got to get on the floor we got interview after interview she actually got to have meals and breaks and get off her feet because um, Erica's no. not a Nazi. Uh, it's, it's different for women sometimes. You never know. <laughs> but uh, Erica is fantastic. If you ever get a chance and you talk to Erica, uh, have her tell you the story of her and Jiggy and Big Will going to the buffet on the very last day of her uh, excursion in <laughs> Vegas. I'm going to write this down. Yes. I will see her next. Yes, so, the buffet in Vegas. Jiggy at the buffet in Vegas. We saw just, everything. I, you know, Big Big Will put this video up. He was he was getting videos of everything. And then at one point, some guy walks into the shot who was talking on his cell phone, looked like Worf from Star Trek. Uh, there was all sorts of crazy shit. <laughs> So yes, you, you need to add, when you get a chance, ask Erica about going to the buffet with Jiggy, and she I, will have I, all I, sorts I, of things she will tell you. She's fun. Her shot is crazy too, um, and Carrie shot her amazing. She she loved you know getting to showcase herself too. Yes, well she is she is fantastic, and uh, so how do we get our hands on the magazine? Yes, um, eroticskymagazine dot com. You can go on there and order one. Um, our poor little Instagram, they then swiped us again, but erotics. <laughs> we're, we're ESM magazine underscore. Um, but it's on our website. Um, we'll be at Exotica's with them in person. Any of the women in the magazine sell them themselves as well. We like them to be able, you can buy from the girls if you want theirs, then to sign it directly from them too. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you are amazing. This has definitely been a, uh, a blast chatting with you today. Uh, just everything you do from the magazines to the fact you were a stripper to, to everything is just amazing to me. So were, were you one of these chicks in the strip club that, because we used to interview the featured dancers that would come through various strip clubs here in Kansas. And a lot of them were porn people, which I mm-hmm. still don't really understand that, that mix because there's a lot of porn people i've talked to where they're like i'm a featured dancer I'm like oh you're a good dancer i don't know how to dance okay what the fuck are you doing there no 
because they have a name, so then they got paid. Yeah. I started as a stripper and wanted to become a porn star so I could make a name for myself. So mine was kind of the opposite. Like, it was, I got to watch the future dancers come in and take all the money that night. And I was like, damn, I'll I was getting ready things. to ask that question. Were, were you one of these women that was pissed off that they were there? Or were you no. one of these women that was like, hey, they're in I our club, so I'm going to make a shit ton of money tonight? Yes. So I would make more, I would make so much money. I would interact with them and learn so much um, that that's what I knew I wanted to be and do because shit, I'm better at this than the rest of these girls here. And I need to be doing what she's doing. <laughs> Not that I'm the best dancer, but as far as putting on a performance, I love putting on a show. I can, I'm going to give you a show. Well, we would, we would talk to the local girls and there would be some of them that were like, Hey, this is awesome. There's a featured dancer here, porn chick. We're going to make a ton of money tonight. <laughs> And then there's the other girls that are like, that fucking bitch, she yeah, isn't, I mean, she's not here every night, blah, 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 yeah. she can't yeah, dance, yeah. you know, all that because stuff. Because you go in and they make it all about you. I got to, you know, do my teacher dance time and it was amazing getting to do that and say I'm Lyrics Guy and go to a club and then showcase you. Um, but that's because I put the time and effort into it. So ladies, if you're mad, go get a bigger bag. <laughs> that's awesome that ought to be in a t-shirt uh so so what one of the things that we used to do when we would go to uh to, to strip clubs what we would do wrestling chants at the strippers and they loved it like like we would do things like show your tits well of course they're in a strip club um we would do things like uh, there would be a chick that would climb to the top of the pole and as she came down she'd like clack her heels on the stage or whatever and it would make noise and we would start a chant of this is awesome you know all that and then and then we would get guys to do the wave you know by the oh around by the stage there was all sorts of things that we do and there would be strippers that would be I've like oh my god we are so happy you guys are here because we're going to be entertained this evening so there there was a yes. there was a like I, I made a uh, you wouldn't care because you, you're you're a cool chick. Most people would think this is this is a as they say an off color joke. But uh, there was one time we went to a strip club and this chick, she was a Mexican chick and she was climbing up the pole and she was doing it really fast. I'm like ah, she's trying to escape, you know, going over the wall or whatever. But but <laughs> they people would think that was so so off putting. Gotta have thick skin. <laughs> <laughs> I had so many jokes about. I danced at country clubs, and I danced. At oh, I clubs. bet that was fun. Oh, oh yeah. boy, hot yeah. black chick at a country club. There you go. Forget there about it. Happen. Yeah, they weren't happening, but I made a lot of money. It's like, it well, great. yeah, you probably made a lot of money. That's the thing. <laughs> it's 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 kind of like way back in the day. I don't know if you're if you're a, a pro wrestling fan at all, but way back in the day. Uh, Ron Simmons and Butch Reed used to be a tag team called Doom, and they were in WCW, and it was two beefed-up black guys, and their manager was a white girl, and they were like huge heels down in the South. But yep. they always worked the main events, and they always got paid. <laughs> so it didn't matter. <laughs> People, people want what they can't have. It sells. Black is one of the biggest companies, so there's a reason for it. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, if you're watching us on Clout Hub, BitChute, any of these places, uh, you are obviously seeing the fantastic uh, Perv Magnet herself, lyrics guy, with us. So these magazine covers that you have over your shoulder. Oh yeah, I do have a couple. Yeah. Tell us about those. Are those uh recent? Yes, those are our first two volumes. I haven't finished hanging up the last two. We're on volume four now. Um, I was on the cover of volume one. We had um, Santana Red on the backside, and then we had Foxy on the cover of volume two, and Taylor Maid, who is a top OnlyFans creator, not a porn star, OnlyFans. So we, you know, sex worker too, so we printed her. Um, then we had Avery and Olivia. I need to hang those. And the latest one was Jayla Page and... Um, Kiki Clout. So I need to put That's awesome. Kiki will be next. That's but awesome. the women we showcase, we feel like they bring the most and put the most into their brand at the time um, out of those 10 to 11 women that we shoot. And we pick the covers last. So you can't pay to be on the cover. You have to actually. That's have awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, 
I don't. We picked know. the covers last. Mm-hmm. That's good. Women, they come into it saying, can I be your cover model or can, well, I don't know. Are you worthy of being the cover model? Or <laughs> I, I don't know. know. Are you worthy? <laughs> That's no. awesome. You're an empress, so once a neurotic empress, you're always an empress, and we want you to showcase yourself and carry yourself that way. Um, it represents my brand and me forever, and we're classy and nasty, so we like to keep it that way. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, a- Avery is is such a sweetheart. We, uh, oh. I think it was last. I think it was this year at at ABN. At one point, Erica had me go over and interview her, and Erica and Brittany were sitting somewhere near her booth. And uh, and I went up to Avery and I said, Avery, you are the kind of woman that I would leave my girlfriend for. And she was like, what? And I said, my girlfriend, you know, Brittany. And she's like, oh, no, 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 don't leave her. Just have her join. So, that, <laughs> so you mentioned that you have these at uh, Exoticas. Do you have a yes, booth at Exotica or, or are you just having random people walk around and passing out magazines? <laughs> No, we had um, we just sponsored. Uh, we're one of the sponsors for Miami Exotica, so we had a booth uh, with a list of girls that were rotating the empresses that were there. You could come up and buy volumes one through four, get them signed, take pictures with the girls, That's awesome. um, see the booth and all the artwork. It was so much fun. I lost my voice. I'm still recovering, and we are going to have a booth in New Jersey. So come by. We are no, sponsored. no, don't, don't, don't tease me with a good time. We, we may we may be in New Jersey. <laughs> Come by and be um, get your Empress experience is what we want to give you. That would be fantastic. So uh, when when you get your scenes and all your different things shot, typically, how long does it take for your stuff to get posted? Or do um, you have a? I'm I'm kind of strategic about it because um I don't like content pile and stock because I don't shoot like bam 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 bam. I space yeah. mine out a little bit. Um so. I would say however long it takes me to edit and get it out. So usually you're going to get it within two to three weeks to maybe. I have a scene I've been holding on to now for about three months I'm about to put out. So it just depends on how I feel about it and if it's worthy being held on to and released at a certain time. That's awesome. That's awesome. So before we let you go, uh, what is next for you? What, what, What do you have coming up with everything? Um, Just know... Stay tuned with Erotic Sky Magazine because we'll have more of that, more hot ladies. But with Lyric Sky, um, keep watching for my content from my website and stay tuned for more browsers. That's awesome. Well, you are amazing. Thank you for making some time for us. I would love to have you on as we get ready for uh, Exotica, New Jersey. I can't believe I'm going to yes. get drugged back to New Jersey. But. Uh, and- and colder it's probably gonna be miserable but the we're last time the last time i was in new jersey everybody spoke like andrew dice clay and there was bruce springsteen music everywhere it's, but uh it's, not- it's 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 a strange strange place and oh we have a photographer that lives out there and he's always telling me that if i come to new jersey for exotica he's gonna take me to all the vampire bars and all these things and i'm like no if i'm coming to new jersey for exotica i'm going to exotica I'm not going yes. to the vampire bars. No, I'm going to see the ladies in the titty. I'm going to Exotica. I, I, I don't want to go sit. Now, I, I wouldn't mind like a goth perv magnet. I think that would be fun. But I don't know. They, they're they all crazy. And I, I, I might have to like have garlic and the X thing and all that stuff. It could be. It could be a fun night. <laughs> it could be a fun night. Well, one of the things I'm always telling Nagy to do, he has this thing that he does on uh, on the old YouTube that um, he goes and explores abandoned places. He's went to abandoned malls. He's went to abandoned, uh, uh, like, wedding places. Like, I always told him that what I was going to do was get married. At the, at, Brittany's always telling me she wants to have a destination wedding. And I'm like, perfect. We're going to go m- get married at the abandoned wedding chapel. No, but, that sounds <laughs> but I've always told him, I'm like, why don't you take these porn stars with you and explore abandoned places? And I had a few transsexual porn stars that were ready to go. And he's like, I don't know if I want to go explore abandoned places with them. Like, what do you think? They're going to fuck you? They're just going to take you out in the middle of the abandoned mall and fuck you? Are, are, are you fucking that crazy, Nikki? 
It might be adding more fuel to the fire for the abandoned buildings. <laughs> the abandoned buildings. <laughs> I don't know. I just it, it's it, it's insane. I will have to say. So, uh, how do people get your stuff? Your your porn related stuff is is there a central location, or should we just send people yeah. to OnlyFans? What what's the situation there? They should go to lyricskyxx.com. That's where you're going to find all my newest releases and everything that I have for my stuff. That's awesome. One more question, because it, you, when we mentioned the OnlyFans thing. Okay, so how annoying is it, or have you run into this problem, of uploading content to OnlyFans, and they're not on OnlyFans? Oh, well, okay, I'm a professional, so get a 2257 filled out, take your pictures with your bunny ears, and you don't have to worry about it. You upload it, and you Fantastic. move on. Fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, because I'll tell you, there there are so many people that we have. I, I have a I have a porn editor. I have a porn editor that always tells me when, when you're going through the paperwork process, just tell them if you don't have an OnlyFans, just go fill it out so I can tag you on there. You don't have to use no, that, it. That's so dumb. Just fill that out the sounds paper. dumb. She says. That's I don't awesome. like it. Just do the paperwork how you should as a professional, and you'll always have it in your archives, and you can post that content everywhere forever. <laughs> you, can- you are great. You are fantastic. Thank you. So uh, we have got to do this again at some stage of the game. Uh, the fantastic lyrics guy with us. Thanks for spending as much time as you did with us. You, you have been amazing. Um, I look forward to chatting with you again. I hope to do this uh, towards the end of the summer as we get ready for uh, Exotica New Jersey. And um, yes. we will go from there. Thanks for making some time for us. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, my friend. There she goes, the fantastic lyric sky on this edition, ladies and gentlemen, of fucking around with porn stars. 51 minutes. I was only supposed to talk to her for 30, but she's a perf, and I just had to talk to her. So that is going to wrap it up here for this 